だね。
Play a game, Alice. Let's see how hungry Leo is, huh?
hungry boy? Meow. 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 I need to be some treats today. Did you get that? Alice, where did you get that? Properly, other than just cats, <laughs> but they have extended our chat portion of my shift every day, and it has been exhausting. And so, pretty much the only thing I've been in the mood for after work is binge watching Doctor Who from <laughs> back as the Ninth Doctor. <laughs> now that. I was able to get access to season one. So, in two weeks, tops, um, I've managed to get all the way to the 2009 specials. I don't know if it's been just a week or two weeks. I just know it's been it somewhere in between that amount of time <sighs> that I've been watching the first four seasons. And binge to them all. So I just finished uh, getting back through Journey's End this afternoon after doing some of the errands. So today's been busy. I ordered groceries last night to pick them up today. So I went and uh, picked those up this morning just after 11. And also had to pick up my prescription after I had them um, put all the groceries in the trunk. And then I went over to Publix to check on a few things that were out of stock from the Kroger order for groceries. Um, and grabbed a few things there. And then we went, uh, well, I picked up Dairy Queen for our lunch. And my brain was totally in the whole, like, K. I need to make sure I figure out how I'm going to have the two drinks and a blizzard when I only have two cup holders in my car. Do I want to ask for a drink holder? Or do I want to just hold the blizzard for literally like the five, three to five minute drive home? And so, yeah, as soon as they gave me the blizzard, I drove off. And I got home. And I went to unpack the car, and then I realized I did not get the food. I only got the drinks in the blizzard. I was literally thinking of, oh, did every was I supposed to get fries with everything, or was it onion rings? Like those kind of thoughts on the way home. But no, um, I just I just didn't get any of the food, so I uh, 
we had to rush and grab all the groceries out of the trunk just to make sure the cold stuff was put away right away and then run right back to the Dairy Queen and literally I just pulled straight up to the window because the line was like one other person um, and then they literally just took one look at me and was just like <laughs> grabbed the food and passed it to me and we were both just laughing and he was just like what are you doing and I was like it's just it's not a good day <laughs> so yeah so yeah um got home I watched turn left like the last part of turn left from the part where Donna like is about to go back to make herself turn left literally like in the last little part like the last 10 minutes um and then still on earth and journeys end and then I did get to work on doing cleaning stuff so I finished um starting a load of dishes in the dishwasher and then went and cleaned up the bathrooms um like wiping down the sinks and spraying down the shower and rinsing it off and wiping up the toilets and all that and then I went through and made sure all the laundry is picked up and put away for the week and also just finished with sweeping the house a few minutes ago for the most part. I did not do the guest bedroom down here yet since I am doing litter boxes tomorrow and that one room kind of requires an immediate sweep directly afterwards. So yeah. Hopefully we can get another one of these like litter box table things there because it it really makes a difference in how far the litter gets like just dragged throughout the house. So anyway, um, so yeah, just finished sweeping and all that. So we. We have the pest control coming tomorrow evening to spray the house and on Saturday my mom is flying into town um, to stay with Nikki for her graduation next Friday. So yeah. I'll have to just do some of this stuff to make sure the house is ready for visitation because my mom Nikki and or my dad, if not a combination of all three, <laughs> um, uh, will hopefully be visiting over the next couple weeks to one degree or another. We haven't officially planned things out yet, but hopefully um, things will work out for all three of them to be able to spend some time here because I haven't seen my mom since she left last August. Or September ish and Nikki has never been to this house my dad has never been to this house and I haven't seen my dad since Christmas of 2018 yeah cuz we know yes 2018 because 2019 my family was delayed in doing Christmas because he was going to visit and then it didn't work out for him to visit and everyone was super broke so we never did Christmas as like a family properly in 2020 we did just virtual Christmas so yeah it's been a while I unfortunately uh, missed the couple of times that he has managed to visit recently because been on days where I've been working and it's usually been last minute where I can't really like request off and like drop things to go drive an hour and a half away because <laughs> for those trips it's mostly just been like an overnight stop. So, yeah. Of 
exactly how it works out. It does mean making sure the house is reasonable for people to see it. Not terrible, but it needs some work at the moment. Anyway, I need to take a moment to eat and take a shower so I can settle in for the evening. Meanwhile, um, I have been listening to the New Moon audiobook because I finished reading through Prisoner of Azkaban uh, between Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yes, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then I started New Moon Tuesday uh, near the end of my shift or just after my shift and some of the uh, Wednesday. And then listened to it today while I was out and about like driving back and forth between groceries and whatnot and while I was sweeping the house so getting some reading done unfortunately not quite as successful with the other side of heaven but not terrible there either technically um let me see how far am I now I am on page 138 so we're, I'm over halfway, a little bit over halfway, I think, right? Because like, no wait, no, hold on. I was thinking it was 217 pages, but that was something else I read that was Touched by an Angel. This one is 298 pages, so I'm almost halfway. <laughs> and then I'm not entirely sure how far I am in New Moon because I haven't like synced where I meant in the audiobook with the physical book yet but before I started reading today I left off at page 179 yesterday and have read a fairly decent amount today if I can guess that I am somewhere around to page 260 because I just finished um, the part where um, Laurent and Bella find each other in the meadow um, just a few minutes back so somewhere around page 260 out of 563 I think it is so what is that, like, a third-ish? I don't know. Anyway, it's getting dark. It's getting light. And I need to go finish things for the evening. So later. for a video for Friday at all. <laughs> um, yeah, my hair is in the house. So let me actually fix that. And my phone is sweaty. weeks I pretty much used up my advanced edit videos 
partly because of the weeks that I would go visit home in Atlanta and not film something to make up for that week. Also, just in general, it... Luna? No. That, that's not yours. Please get down. Um, but also there would be weeks where Ed works from home every other week and I just don't like to try to film depending on like acoustics cause yeah and just in general like my weekends have been going by way too fast and just with the major changes at work over the last month and just expanding on them this last like week were insane because at the start of April they rolled out us doing live chat which was a whole big change on its own and just immediately became like half of my work day every day and then this last like week we maybe two they upgraded us to even more time in chat so just me being suddenly having to be actively like socially active and paying like direct attention where I'm not necessarily the issue of the attention itself but like having to feel the pressure of being socially active where I have to make sure that the chat is staying active we have like one minute where you're supposed to reply you have like two minutes to wait for them you have to make sure you're replying within so many minutes to keep the whole conversation active and you're also having to meet how many different conversations you're holding within an hour and I am doing this now every work day from 9 a.m. to 3.15 in the afternoon. Previously, the last month, it was from 9 to 12.15, no, 12.45. And it is frying my brain. It is exhausting. And I don't want to do it. <laughs> Because it's just, it kind of really just feels like a giant step back from why I chose to move to this particular, like, job position in this department. And also, like, just, A lot of major changes very suddenly like getting these changes with only like a day or two notice each time and having it be this significant of a change and I'm not adjusting well to it so yeah it's stressful it's exhausting. I want to fix it, but I am so tired. <laughs> My brain does not want to do anything. So after work, other than like when I can convince myself to do like cleaning that I've had to do, like we had pest control coming this last weekend and I have my mom in town this month so I was trying to make sure that house is clean and prepared for other people to enter the house. Other than that, I've pretty much just had no energy to do anything except just zone out to a whole bunch of Doctor Who for hours on end. So yeah. I've 
pretty much only been able to like get myself into reading during the last like three hours that I'm working. Once you factor in like break times and whatnot, when I've just been listening to an audiobook. Because that's pretty much the only time I can convince myself to really put in effort. And even though I've been like also simultaneously like really trying to get back into like fan fictions, I'm slightly more successful at being able to zone out with those because they're just. I can skim through them. I don't have to get like super involved in it or anything like with actual book reading right now. But even then, not a whole lot other than maybe like an hour or two and then just watching TV. And it's just bad right now. So, I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of regular like book themed videos outside of like just vlogs like this because right now my brain is just like I don't want to like do any like project things especially because I'm right now trying to just find the energy to start working on like researching stuff to fix the work situation and that is the main priority right now so it may just be some sporadic ish vlogging for a while i think say about it. Some cats in the tunnel. They're doing it. Alice is in there at the moment. Alice! I have Ace chilling out here next to my desk. Luna is on the bookshelf. Plus that I've managed to get through an hour and a half of a Skillshare class on the reading and editing. So I at least started that for fixing the whole work thing. There's a lot to do still. But my brain is already like ready to check out for the day. And this is on top of the fact that I got out of work like three hours early today and so yeah it's been just over two and a half hours since I got out of work and basically the only thing I've done is Luna 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 yeah. not supposed to be on that side Luna Get that bookshelf on me. What? Are you? <laughs> what is that? So yeah, I pretty much just watched Instagram stories. Watch that class, eat dinner. That's it. But this has arrived in the mail today. I've been stuck between the next doctor and Planet of the Dead for like two days, maybe three. And 
just binged through a bunch of the Harbo Holmes episode reviews for the first three seasons of the show. Like literally every single episode's review to try and wait until I had this come in the mail because I didn't have any other way of accessing the 2009 specials otherwise because Plex is down. working on editing this vlog so I can just have it done and out of the way so at least it's up there because that was another thing that was stressing me out this weekend is knowing that I do not have anything that was posted on Friday and having this realization on Friday but being too busy with cleaning and stuff to do anything about it and then Saturday meaning to go do something about it but then having no motivation to do it and then just being like I don't care enough to fix it but it's stressing me out that I'm not fixing it this is where we're at right now and it's not a good place so <clears throat> for now we do the best with what we can forward to next week well technically this week now since it's Sunday where I have Nikki's graduation where I'm gonna be watching the chillins while my parents go to her ceremony and then hopefully very soon getting to visit with my mom for a couple days hopefully my dad as well maybe have Nikki come down here for a visit for a few hours Hopefully the next couple weeks go well. <laughs> but yeah. In the meantime, we enjoy ourselves some kitties. And just generally just chilling out for now. Nice one now. Nice one now. Nice one Ace, get down. Sister. Sure. 